Hello everybody. We've been speaking this week about the wilderness and the wilderness and deserts as places where God often meets us. The wilderness is a place of quietness. It was a place for Jesus of testing, severe testing. It's not easy to sit for a, even a couple of hours on one's own. Well, Jesus spent 40 days on his own with no one in sight. And we've considered a few people, John the Baptist, into the desert, came out of the desert proclaiming repentance and the, the gospel of forgiveness. Moses went out into the desert after he was discovered to be a murderer and he got in touch with God and got in touch with himself and God's calling to him. Elijah, he was another one who went out into the wilderness and after days managed to discern the still small voice. Now I wonder if you remember that Paul the Apostle himself spent three years out in the desert. You remember that dramatic moment in his life when he was traveling to Damascus. He was hot on the heels of Christians. He hated Christians. He felt it was his task to persecute them, to eliminate them. And God met him on the Damascus road, the great light that blinded him. And uh, what happens thereafter? Of course, he goes to Ananias. Ananias heals him. But then, and we forget, that Paul in Galatians says that before he went back to Jerusalem, he went off. And for three years, three years, he was in the desert. It was almost as if God had to turn this man around, not just his soul, but had to teach him things. That it, there had to take place a renewal of the mind. Because you remember, he was so anti-Jesus. He was so anti-Christians, so anti-the gospel, that his mind needed remolding. He needed to go deep. God needed to go deep into this man. So where did he go? He took him out to, and Paul speaks of, Arabia. And there God sorted him out. His mind, his soul. And he came back, a man charged with the gospel that God had taught him in those lonely places. He even speaks that during of those years, as a time when God granted him visions, and he's He's really quite vague about these visions. He says, I don't even know whether I should be telling you about these visions that I received from God. The point is that in that lonely, lonely place that probably most of us would shy away from, God took him aside and turned him around, inside out, upside down. And Paul returned, filled with the love of Jesus like few before him. So, what is there in that? We're just talking about the wilderness as a place where God can speak. It's tough when we are in that wilderness place. But don't despair. Don't give up on yourself because know that God is teaching you things in those silent and even lonely places that are going to be foundations for your life going forward. God be with you.